What's up everyone? Today, we're gonna go over leak code 659, split array into consecutive subsequences. So the input is going to be a array like this, and we have to return true or false if we can split this array into consecutive subsequences. So for example, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, you can make it going one, two, three, four, five, and three, four, five. Now, we don't actually need to return the subsequences, subsequences themselves, we only need to return true or false if it's possible. So um, this solution comes from a, a leak code user named Compton Scatter, but uh, my syntax is gonna be a little bit different, but the core idea is the same. Um, cool, so let's get into it. <coughs> now we, okay, so we're gonna be using two hash maps, and um, one of them I'll call FM, which stands for frequency map, and the other one called HM, which stands for hypothetical map. Both of these are going to be of uh, key value types integer, integer. So <coughs> this FM frequency map is a standard frequency map that we all know. We just find the keys and then how many of them there are. So for example, one is gonna be one, two is gonna be one, three is gonna be two, four is gonna be two, five is gonna be two. Um, these are integers and integers. Same for hypothetical map, HM. Um, you'll see what this one looks like in just a little bit. Now, the way we solve this problem is, is a greedy approach. That means that the subsequences that are generated need to um, be, well, okay, before we get into the greedy, let's define what a valid subsequence for this problem is. A valid subsequence for this problem is a consecutive one, like 3, 4, 5, or 10, 11, 12, where, this, where, the, where the series is consecutive numbers and it's a minimum of three. So it's a minimum of three length and for one, two, three, four, five, you can have um, more than length three. Now this is a greedy approach, so <coughs> a number, any number we visit in the array is going to try to um, first see if it can join an existing subsequence um, before it tries to create its own subsequent starting with itself. So before I get into the code, let's see what's going to look like for this guy. So we have one, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. In the beginning, um, one, we're going to go integer by integer, right? Um, so this hypothetical map is going to be the, the map which keeps track of numbers that can hypothetically be added to an existing subsequence. So if a number is found, if, if we're visiting a number, say three or four or five, and it's, um, it finds that there is a non-zero value for the, for the value of that integer, so if there's a number of itself in the hypothetical map, then it will attach itself using that hypothetical map, which is nothing but joining an existing subsequence before it tries to create its um, own subsequence. Now, it's a little, might be a little uh, different because it's not a standard algorithm, but I'll just follow along and you'll see what I mean. <coughs> so in the beginning, when we start with one, it's gonna see, okay, is anything, uh, is any, is, is there a one in the hypothetical map? No. Hypothetical map pretty much means if a number is being, uh, of, is, if a number is available to join existing subsequence. So one is not find itself, but one looks at itself and sees that, okay, I'm non-zero, so I have to start my own uh, subsequence. So one is gonna start, and it's gonna take its next uh, two consecutive ones. So it's gonna take itself, and then it's gonna take three. And then uh, it's gonna reduce its frequency, two's frequency, and this goes to one. Now one, it said, okay, since I generated a new subsequence, I'm going to create a space in the future if there's a four, let me go ahead and put that in here, the hypothetical map. So because I ate a one, two, and three, I can now um, put something, I can, I can take a four in the future. So one, two, three, and then it's gonna take another space. So four is gonna be the number that it's going to accept. 
What this means is, if there's a four later in the array when we're visiting, that four is going to join the subsequence that one created instead of creating its own starting from four. Now we go to two. Now two, when we go, to, we see that it's zero, so two doesn't do anything. It's gonna say, I'm already part of a subsequence. Um, so forget about me. Then we go to three. Now three is gonna check, does anyone want me? So it's gonna check, am I non-zero? Well, I, I'm not zero yet, so I have to do something. I have to join um, a subsequence or create my own. Or it's gonna first try finding something to join. It finds three is not here, so it's going to take the itself and the next two numbers. So three is gonna go three, um, four, and five. So this goes to zero, this goes to one, this goes to one. Now because three created this, three is gonna say, look, I took up um, three, four, five, so let me create one after that. Six comma one is the hypothetical map. You can think of it because we take three, four, and five, it's gonna open up the space for uh, a six, and that's what this one represents. <clears throat> now uh, we go to this three, Three is gonna say, I'm, it's, it's zero, so forget about me, go into the next number. Now we go to four. Four is gonna see that it's non-zero, then it's gonna see, does anyone want me? Yes, someone wants me. So what it's gonna do is this four is gonna take this guy, decrement this count to zero because it's gonna join that one, and it's gonna see who, who's the one that wanted the four. This is the one, so it's going to join this subsequence. And then it's also going to say, look, I joined a subsequence. Let me create a spot for the next number after me. So it's going to create a new number. It's going to say 5, 1. Now, the reason I call this the hypothetical map is that um, you can see that this four is look, this three is looking for a six in the future if it's there, and this four is looking for a five in the future if it's there. If the reason I'm named a hypothetical is because we can see that there's no six. It will hypothetically accept a six in the future. Next, we go to four. We um, okay. Well, when this four, is, uh, we have to decrement this one by uh, <coughs> zero as well because this four joined the subsequence that was created by one. Now that that's done, we go to this four, we see it's zero, so we don't do anything. And now five is going to say, <coughs> uh, I'm not zero, so let me see if anyone's looking for a five. Yes, someone is looking for a five. So it's going to join this hypothetical, and then uh, it's going to say, okay, who was it that wanted this? And it's going to say, uh, the four created this five. So it's going to decrement this spot, and then it's going to join this one. And at the end, it's going to not only decrement its, itself, the count and the frequency map, but it's going to say, look, I am a five, I joined a subsequence, now the number after me, a six, can also, uh, there can be another hypothetical six in the future. So this five is going to, again, increment this count, and this guy is gonna become two. Now, this we're at the last five and five is going to see the frequency map is zero so we're done now let's look at the hypothetical map there's actually two sixes that can be added onto the array now this problem doesn't have the sixes but if i found a six here this six can actually join a subsequence here uh, in fact we can even have another six we can have two more sixes and they'll join uh, the subsequences that exist already because we have Two, no, uh, we have two sixes that are available in the hypothetical map because a six can go here and it can go here. Um, hopefully you understood the logic and in intuition behind it, um, but, but understand it's a slightly different problem, so if you have questions, just go ahead and ask in the comments below. Now uh, let's get into the code. Okay, so uh, yeah, HMFM, um, I'm just gonna create this. So is possible and int nums. I'm gonna just write the first maps, uh, map integer, integer FM map. And then map integer, integer.
integer hm hypothetical map is new hash map. Now the fm frequency map is going to be just a standard. We just go through it, generate it at first. Now we've put, now we've initialized our FM. Um, let me just erase this so there's enough room. Um, you can just continue on the rest of the code I'm writing is gonna be after this. Uh, yeah, okay. So now let's keep in mind that we, we did uh, initialize our frequency map. So what we can do now is go through the integers themselves for int i through nums first we always check if the number in the frequency map is zero which means that there's no more instances of that that integer we have to take care of if frequency map dot get i equals zero we simply continue else uh, it's greedy so we try attaching ourselves to an existing um, subsequence before, so that means we have to check the hypothetical map. If hm.get or default i zero is greater than zero, what this check means is that there is a non zero value of that hypothetical uh, integer. If it's uh, greater than or equal to zero, then what we do is <coughs> We decrement that number hm dot get i minus one, and then we generate a, a spot for the next one after that. Put i plus one, and we say hm dot get or default i plus one zero plus one. And then the last thing we have to do is decrement that integer i from the frequency count. fm dot get, oh, dot put. fm dot put um, i uh, uh, comma fm dot get i minus one. Else, if that number is not existent, non-zero, for in the hypothetical map, we check and we generate a new sequence. So fm dot get or default i zero and so for example, when one is starting out, it, it, there's no one in the hypothetical map, so it's going to try to get one the next i plus one plus one two and one uh, plus two three so it's going to check fm dot get our default i plus one zero greater than zero and fm dot get our default i plus two zero like that if it is, if all of them are non-zero, then it's going to decrement all of those and uh, it's going to create a spot for the i plus third value in the hypothetical map. And it's also going to decrement itself once from the frequency map. So um, yeah, so fm dot put mm, i fm dot get i minus one fm dot put i plus one fm dot get plus one minus one fm dot put plus two fm dot get i plus two minus one 
and it's going to create a spot in the hypothetical map. Um, put i plus 3 hn dot get or default i plus 3 0 plus 1 and yeah that's it and if none of these conditions are satisfying for a given integer i like if for example we there's a 7 somewhere in between then all we have to do is say else return false and then we close the for loop if we can get through all integers and they're either creating a valid subsequence of three or more consecutive subsequence of three or more or they're just appending themselves to a already existing valid subsequence then we can just return true okay so uh, that's how you solve leak code 659 uh, if you like the video please thumbs up and subscribe and please let me know how it can improve and if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.